December 31st, 2011, and I'm going to open, unbox, my Christmas present from John. It's, as you can see, stainless steel emerald cookery. So, John, you're going to help me here, please. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I get my old pots and pans. Come on, help me on. I get my old pots and pans, and you just get comfortable with them. It's like an old pair of jeans. So, converting to such new instruments is going to be an adjustment. But anyway, it's kind of exciting. Bring it up to a whole new level. Since these have, as you can see, copper, um, copper and stainless steel and aluminum, they're going to heat differently. So, my old Revereware is going to be retired. And um, it'll be interesting to cook with this new product. Uh, Uncle John and I did a lot of research. Um, he originally had purchased the non-stick. <coughs> but we decided, after we got on the internet and started looking around, that maybe it was time for me to move all the stainless steel. And in reality, most of my pots are stainless steel. It's just my frying pans that I was using the non-stick with. Oh boy. Okay, let's get this open. Item number one, nicely wrapped, and um, this is a nice sized pot actually, a little smaller than one you of my ones. You should tell what brand it is. It's Emerald Lagasse's, yeah. Oh, and it's all clad. It's a special um, formula or special design made by all clad for Emerald Lagasse. So at any rate, the nice feature about this that really appealed to us was the pouring spout. So. We'll, you know, as we use it, we'll see how we like it. All right, so now out comes a tiny little saute pan, which really has the shape of a wok. Now, this will be the piece that I'm going to have to adjust to using, because I've been using non-stick, so that will be a change in my cooking. It's a pretty nice size, though. Now, next item coming out is a lid. And this will be something different. All my revereware had metal lids. Here we have a glass lid with a draining spout so that I can go and drain out the liquid. So that's going to go well. All right. Now the next item is a very deep sauce pot. All right. And um, it's actually, what, three quart? It just looks so big, but I think that'll be fine. And um, compared to my revereware, John, can you pass me one of my revereware parts and put them side by side? It seems so much bigger. So um, it's certainly taller, which actually may cause the convection to be better. Okay, now here is, I'm not sure what size this is, but look at the difference. My goodness. Um, I use this a lot, all right? I have two of these. I use them a lot. And they're so light compared to these. So here we go. All right. That's the old one that's going to get retired, actually, from my mother-in-law. Now, here is the deeper pot for boiling pasta and other items that require a lot of volume. And here you see the handles, which are nice gripping handles. I have a pot I use that has no handles. They fell off years ago, so this will be, this will be an innovation, just having handles. Okay. And I'm still digging. There's still more in here. It is a big set. All right, now this is so heavy. All right, this is a really nice piece. Alright, um, nice size, it's more like I guess a sauté pan, and um, real solid, I think it should carry the heat well. I think there's more in here, oh yeah, there's another one down here. Did you mention the triple bottom? Oh, and this is the larger fry pan, alright, I'm going to retire those nice size, we spent a lot of time comparing the size in the store. Uh, this has the triple bottom where you're working with the steel, the aluminum, the copper, and the handles are nice and long. They're supposed to stay cool. 
However, I'm ready if they don't. I have something else to show you. Um, good. Here's a lid. Now, I didn't try this in the store, but let's see. Oh, wonderful. The lid works on the pan. Oh, no. That is for the pan. <laughs> Never mind. It works on this pan. Oh, and it works on that pan. So that's good. This lid works on two pans, which is nice. But there should be a lid for that big pot. And here we go. Here we have it. A lid for the big pot. All right. So everything has lids. All right. And that's everything in the box. All right. So I'm going to remove the box from the table. And I just want to point out, you can see we have a festive Christmas decor in our kitchen. Okay. Nope. Here's some extra paper. I'll get rid of it. All right. Now, even though I said I was converting to the stainless steel, I couldn't totally give up non-stick. So I made a purchase of a non-stick sauté pan, um, which is guaranteed not to scratch off. So my old scratched off ones are going to hit the garbage. Yeah, when I said I had something... And they'll replace that if it ever does? Yeah, and that they'll replace that if it ever scratches. Now, Uncle John spotted these, and I think this is a good idea. Even though these handles are supposed to stay cool, if you're cooking something in the oven with the pot, you have a great silicone grip. So that would be nice. And then he also purchased... The silicone grip for the handles, and I believe this is no, I don't this is not an emerald product, but it fits this so that you can deal with the hot pots with that. Now, another piece that we purchased, as we were trying to figure out um, how to make rice, that's probably going to be my biggest, you know, issue making rice in this system because all the pots are vented. But we did de discover a wonderful little insert that will allow me to have a steamer. So these items are going to allow me to get rid of a number of pieces crowding my kitchen and give me a lot of versatility. One more piece to open, all right, in the com complete set here. We added a, yeah, let me get it, a th four quart pot. I just thought it would be useful. I've always used those Revere Wear pots. I always had two of that size, one medium, and one very small. So I thought I needed a larger one. So we pick that out as well. Okay, out of here. Okay. Well packed though. And everything is warranted. We registered this cookware, and the lady at the store said, we'll never buy another one. Well, I believe that, because my Revere wear, we've been married 40 years, and um, I've been using that Revere wear almost the whole time. And my so, mother used it. Before. And your mother used it as well. So, uh, look at the size of this. Isn't that a great size pot? You can cook a big batch of something in that. Big batch of macaroni and cheese can go in there. And the markings inside. Uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing John mentioned here. But this one may not have it. No. Um, some of the pots are marked off on the inside so that you can measure, you know, the amount of volume of water that you're putting in or, you know, whatever element you're adding. Right in here, etched into the steel, it shows you the measurements, which I can't read without my glasses. Let me look. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a one and a half quart maximum capacity, and the measurement is in liters on the left and quarts on the right. So it shows me where I have half a quart and oh, a full quart. So that that may be very handy. All right. So here we go, guys. Look at my new cookware. And um. Bringing it up to a new level of magic in my kitchen. Oh, and I don't like orange, but we were limited on the color choices. So, as you can see, I really prefer red more. 
But um, we got one of these just to help them save the surface. So here we go. So I have a little saute frying pan, a larger frying pan with a lid, stainless steel, a frying pan non-stick, so I now have three frying pans, all right, which actually gives me one more frying pan than I had had previously. I have a small pot, I have a medium pot with a steamer, and I have a very large pot and a even larger pot. So I am set, guys. The next time you come visit me, I'll be cooking up a storm. Merry Christmas!